The following video contains the information on the preparation and administration of ProPrems. Preparation and safety. Make sure that the prescription on the MAR is checked against all patient identifiers and all other checks are carried out as per unit and trust policy prior to the administration of the probiotic. Clean the metal trolley and large purple tray with Clonel Universal Wipes as per unit policy and manufacturer's instructions and allow to dry. Gather all the equipment you need, confirm the position of the gastric tube as per unit policy prior to commencing the procedure and ensure that it is well secured. First you will need a galley pot. Place that into the large purple tray. You need a waste bag. Then take the gauze square, divide that into two and place onto the tray. Take the sterile scissors and protecting the key part set onto the tray. Then you will need a medicine straw, being careful to protect the key parts which are at both ends. Taking the packet of ProPrems, checking that the date, the expiry date is okay. Cut the top off the ProPrems. Pour the powder into the galley pot, down close to the galley pot to prevent any spillage. Taking pre-warmed milk, add one to two mils to allow reconstitution. Using the medicine straw, stir the liquid and the powder until fully reconstituted. This may take a few minutes. Once fully dissolved, draw up the reconstituted solution. Very carefully remove the medicine straw, avoiding touching any of the reconstituted solution, and place a cap onto the syringe. Then add a dated, dated and timed label. Taking some of the gauze, place it into the galley pot to absorb any re remaining liquid and dispose of the galley pot in the soil dressing bag. Carefully remove your gloves, again putting them into the soil dressing bag, then gel your hands. And put on a fresh pair of gloves. Points to remember, carefully mix together using the medicine straw until dissolved. Be patient, this may take a few minutes. When reconstituted with mother's express breast milk, the liquid can be very thick. If this is the case and the baby is on more than one mil of milk each feed, a greater volume up to three mils of mother's express breast milk can be used for reconstitution. This should not be necessary if reconstituting in donor EBM or sterile water. The probiotic should be given by a slow push. The rest of the milk feed is given directly after the probiotic. If no further milk is required, clear the gastric tube with a small amount of air. 
when giving the probiotic, clean the end of the, the hub of the orogastric tube using all four corners of the clonel wipe and clean for 30 seconds. Before administering the probiotic, allow to dry for 30 seconds. Pinching off the end of the orogastric tube Give the probiotic by a slow push. Once the solution is given, you can clear the tube with a very small amount of air. Close the cap and clean the outside of the hub of the orogastric tube to ensure that no, none of the probiotic is on the outside with the risk of contamination. Remember to allow to dry for 30 seconds. Be very careful how you take your hands out of the incubator because they may have been con contaminated. Dispose of all waste in the soiled dressing bag and put into the burns bin. Scissors need to be placed into the sharps bin. Safety issues. Remember once reconstituted, the solution of probiotic contains billions of live bacteria destined only for the gut. ANTT should be performed throughout the procedure, remembering 30 seconds to scrub the hub of the gastric tube and 30 seconds of dry time before and after administration. Remember that your gloves may have become contaminated with probiotics, live bacteria, there remains a need for caution when coming out of the incubator and disposing of your gloves, apron and equipment. Place gloves in soiled dressing bag, gel hands, put on clean gloves and dispose of soiled dressing bag into the burns bin.